Hey guys, this is Cody with EJ in your PJs and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to help you finish up with the enemy's animation, the animation for the enemy. So first, let's select our enemy and we're going to open up this follow player X script. Now up here, I'm just pasting that code right there. We are getting the sprite renderer, and we'll call it render. We're getting the animator of the enemy and calling it anim. To get the components, we need to add two more lines of code right here. Render equals get component sprite render. So every, every time we use render, we're taking the component sprite render from whatever game object the script is attached to. And the same thing for anim, except it's getting the animator component. Now in the update function, this code I pasted here, what it does is when the enemy is to the right of the player, then the enemy will face to the left. If the enemy is to the left of the player, then the enemy will face right. So if target.position.x and target, here you can see that target is set to our player. Target.transform.x, if the x position of the target is larger than the x position of this object, then the sprite will flip. And if the position is smaller than the enemy, then it won't flip. So what this will do, whoops, forgot to save it. Save our script. We wait for this to load. Now I'll show you what the script does. So the enemy is facing the player right now. When you go on this side, the enemy will face the player. So in this, with this, in this way, the enemy will always be facing the player, no matter what. Notice how he still does the running position when he stops in front of the player. We want to fix that. So here's what we're going to do. So first, we're going to head over to the animator for our enemy. And we're going to create two new parameters, and there will be bools. We'll call the first one run, and then we're going to create another one called idle. Now, of course, we need to make an idle animation so we can use this parameter. So... Go to animation, make sure your enemy is selected, create new clip, we'll call it enemy idle. Now we're going to drag a sprite to it. We're going to drag NPC, NPC sprites zero. We're going to drag that in there, and that's all we do for this animation because it's just an idle animation. Now head back to, over to the animator, and we're going to create a transition from any state to enemy walk X. Select the transition. We are going to add a condition. Make sure it's the run condition and set it to true. So anytime inter if we set the run bool to false, then this animation won't play. If we set it to true, then it will play. And, and make sure it's automatically at true for now. And now we're going to create another transition from any state to enemy idle. We're going to Make sure the condition is the idle. Make sure it's set to false. It needs to be false for now. Now, make sure that for both transitions, has exit time and can transition to self is unchecked. What this will do is so the animation can switch from idle to the walking animation immediately. Because if you don't uncheck these, then if the enemy's walking and it's playing the walking animation and then it stops, it'll finish the walking animation before it turns idle. And we don't want that to happen. So make sure has exit time and can, tr can transition to self is unchecked. Okay, now let's go back to our follow player X script. Now inside this first uh, if statement, what this if statement is saying is if the player is larger than the stop distance. So if it's far away from the player, we want to make sure the bool run is set to true. So the run the animation will play and set bool idle to false to make so it's not playing the idle animation. Now we're, what we're going to do is an else if. So if the player is closer, close to the enemy, how whatever distance we filled out for stop distance, then the bool and the bool run will be set to false, and the bool idle is, will be set to true. So he stops doing the running animation, so it looks more realistic. So now let's test this out. Okay, so he's playing the running animation. And notice it's playing the idle animation when he gets close to the player. That's exactly what we wanted. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe for more tutorials like this. 
many more to come in the future. And in the next tutorial, I'm going to start on the health system. So maybe the enemy can start hurting the player when the enemy is close to the player. And the player will have a health bar or maybe health up here, health up here. However you guys want to do it, just let me know down in the comments and I will show you how to make that. Thank you for watching. This is Kony with EJ and your PJs and I'll see you in the next video.